and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe if you are new here and I am a full time eBay reseller which means I sell things on eBay to earn a living. That's how I earn my money. Today's video is going to be a sales video. I've picked 30 random sales from I think just before Christmas up until now just to show you some of the things that sell on eBay for me quite regularly. I think most of them are clothing sales so if that's not really your thing then this might not be the video for you. Um, I am going to be looking at a computer screen that is in front of me so I'm not just staring off into the distance I am looking at a screen behind me and uh, yeah so I will put a picture up of the item that I am talking about here and let's jump straight into it let's just get on with the video okay first up is a Wentworth puzzle I bought this quite a while ago and I did spend quite a lot of money on it I spent £10 on this puzzle but it was my first Wentworth that I found and I was really excited by it because I've been reselling for years now and I've never found a Wentworth so I was really really excited. It was a Christmas one and it was it was called Shopping in New York City and like I said I paid £10 for it, it took a while to sell, it did sell just before Christmas, it sold at the beginning of December I think and it sold for £35, so £10 into £35, I was happy enough with that, to be honest with you. But like I say, it took it took a while to sell it, sat around for a little while. Okay, next up is another item that I've had for a while. Um, I paid £5.50 for this, and I think it's because it was a small size that it took so long to sell. Um, this was an And Other Stories printed blouse. I think it had hearts on. I will, like I said, I'll put a picture there. Um, but it was a size like six to eight, like a UK six to eight. So it stuck around for ages. It sold for 19 99 in the end. So I got a decent price for it. It was brand new with tags. But I think what does pay £5.50 for it? Um, it did sell with a 10% off coupon. So it actually didn't go for 19 99 But it will say in the screenshot how much it did go for. Around about £18 if it went with a 10% off. Okay, next up is this Topshop black velvet jumpsuit. Um, I didn't have this one for too long, a few months I think, but I th obviously it sold around Christmas time with it being black velvet. I nearly kept it for myself. It was really nice. It was brand new with tags and it says it sold for £24.99, but it also has the 10% off coupon, but it will say at the bottom of the screenshot exactly how much it sold for. For some reason it doesn't tell me like on my souls page but it will say on the screenshot exactly how much i paid four pounds for that i don't know if i said that yeah i spent four pounds on that one this mint velvet like fluffy gelée it's like teddy material like this big massive jumper that i'm wearing i don't know if you'll be able to see it um it's like a teddy kind of sherpa like faux sherpa material and it also had like faux leather it was a size 16, I paid £5 for it, and it sold really quickly actually. Again, it says 49 99 but it went with its £10, 10% uh, off coupon, not £10 off coupon. So around about £5 off, so about £45, but it will say exactly in the screenshot, and it sold really quickly. Next up is this Joe Brown's, really pretty actually, this Joe Brown's navy chiffon, blouse top thing uh, as you can tell i'm really good at describing items my descriptive keywords are brilliant um it's got like a star print all over it and it had like big floaty bat wing sleeves it was a size 22 i pick up quite a lot of joe browns to be honest with you because it sells really well for me not for like a massive amount of money but it does sell well this only cost me £3.49. It was gorgeous print. If it wasn't too big for me, I would have kept it. I do like wearing oversized, but this was just a bit too big. Um, and this sold for £22.99. And that didn't go on the 10% off either. It just went for £22.99, which is really good for a Joe Brown's top. Like, Joe Brown's, it doesn't fetch a huge amount of money most of the time for me. But it, it went quite well. I think it was because it was such a gorgeous print. Okay, next up is this Bartolini, I think I'm pronouncing that right, might not be, um, this Bartolini cashmere long sleeve grey jumper, it was in a size extra large, I was really really tempted to keep this but I do not trust myself to look after cashmere, um, I will shrink it, this sold with a 10% off coupon, 
so it did sell for 46.99 but 10 percent off that is about five pounds isn't it so we'll say around about 40 42 pounds somewhere between 40 and 42 because my quick maths is not that good it will be in the screenshot i paid 16 pounds for it i bought it from tk maxx so i paid up but it was brand new tags it took a while to sell but it was an it wasn't i say it was an easy sale it took a while to sell how do you like what what kind of warrants an easy sale um it was easy to deal with <laughs> but yeah it took a little while to sell but i'm happy enough with like 16 into 40 that's fine it was easy enough to list next up is this bowden dark green cotton skirt nothing exciting about this but it sold really quickly i may have undersold it it cost me £3.50 it was a size 10 so i was surprised that it sold so quickly to be fair it's a bit on the small side cost £3.50 sold for £14.99 but it did sell with the 10% off coupon so what's that like £1.50 off so that will be in the screenshot no you can work this out chloe what is this come on you can do this it'll be in the screenshot <laughs> next is this all this women's chunky knit cardigan this also sold relatively quickly actually i paid 4.99 for it and it sold for 20 it was really heavy like cotton i was worried that it may have like the odd pull in it with my eyesight not being very good anymore i was kind of apprehensive about picking this one up anything that's knitted like this i'm a little bit worried about picking up because it's so easy to miss a, like a thread pull anyway that when you're visually impaired it makes it even worse but it's it is what it is i risked it i think i've got good feedback yeah i've got positive feedback so it is all good they are happy with it next up is this pair of nike air jordans i nearly kept these for myself because they are my size they're a four and a half um i am anywhere between a four and a five depending on the shoe and the little chav inside of me loved these trainers however i wasn't keen on the red on them so i didn't think they'd match with a whole lot of stuff that i wear um but yeah i nearly kept them but i decided against it i paid 15 pounds for them thinking that they'd probably go for a bit more which they probably would have done if they were a better size but because they're only four and a half they went for 35 pounds i did take an offer on them at 35 pounds because i'm guessing they were going for a christmas present which had them for a little while but 15 into 35 like that's like double my money and profit almost so i'm happy enough with that okay this monsoon dress i am so happy to see the back of this monsoon dress i have had it for ages and i've had so much interest in it but nobody wants it nobody wanted it I've had it like on auction, I've had it really highly priced, I've had it priced really low, nobody wanted it. Um, it did go for £29.99, finally. I paid £4.50 for it, it's brand new with tags, and it was gorgeous. It had like really nice embroidery around the neckline, um, and like beads I think. Uh, there'll, be, there'll be a picture of it up here. But yeah, it did go with a 10% off coupon actually, so it wasn't quite, it was about £27, but... I was happy to finally see the back of it. Hopefully it doesn't come back to me. Touch wood, but you never know. But I'm happy that it's gone. Hey, next up, I wanted to keep these so bad, but they were too big for me. And I just couldn't, I, I tried them on like about four times and they just would not fit. They were too big. These are Vans, Harry Potter edition Vans, which keep your eyes peeled for because some Vans do really, really well. And the harry potter ones do quite well these were brand new with tags and in their box however the box was damaged so i think that did devalue them a little bit these are the deathly hallows ones and they light they have like refl they're reflective when there's light on them basically i will put some pictures of them i'll put more than one screenshot i'll put a couple of pictures up so you can see what i mean um they were in a size five and a half if they were a five they probably would have just fit me but five and a half they were slipping off my feet and I was gutted because I really wanted to keep them. And I bought them off Facebook and I think they, I paid £20 for these. Like I say, I was hoping to keep them for myself. But they did not fit. 
and they went for £60 just before Christmas so hopefully they were a Christmas present for somebody and they really liked them because I am jealous and I'm sad to see them go. Okay next up is this Joseph Ribkoff blue like cobalt blue dress. Um, I only paid £3 for this so I let it go quite cheap. It went for £28 in the end. Um, there was a little bit of back and forth with offers um it did have like a snap popper i think added to it in uh, the neckline which to be quite honest i think that was probably a plus because it was a really plunging neckline and whoever had added it had added it really decently like they'd done a really nice job it was like a hidden snap pop and it i think it added to the dress quite well because it was a really open really open revealing neckline and i think it probably would have hindered the sale a little bit um, but yeah, like I said, I paid £3 for it, so to go for 28 I was happy with that. Joseph Ribkoff has definitely come down in value, in my opinion. Okay, next up, I probably, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have picked these up. I mean, no, I thought I shouldn't have picked these up at the time. I had buyer's remorse when I picked these up, but there was no way I could leave them behind because I was in love with them. But then they have sold, so I guess, I guess it was a good that i picked them up i don't really know what i'm trying to say but these are cruise cast iron pans they cost me 40 pounds yes 40 pounds i paid 40 pounds for them i could not leave them behind they were the vintage ones with the wooden handles they were this gorgeous red color i absolutely loved them size 16 and 18 absolutely in love with them wanted to keep them for myself so if they hadn't have sold like i priced them high and if they didn't sell i was going to keep them myself because i have a really bad trait of doing that like it's one of my worst traits like it's a toxic trait if you are a reseller don't do that like don't overprice something because you want to keep it because then it won't sell but you also won't keep it because you resell things because you like money and you like earning money and you like finding things at home and it won't you won't use it it will stay up in your stock and it will just gather dust and you won't earn money on it so you'll have lost money so price things to sell because you're just wasting your own time and your own money i i I need to take my own advice but anyway whatever i paid 40 quid for it they sold for 100 pounds on christmas day so merry christmas to me i was really happy with that sale on christmas day i think last christmas like 2020 christmas i don't think i had a single sale i think it was a no sales day i mean 2020 christmas was a little bit shit for everybody let's be real but didn't have a single sales day um but yeah 100 pounds pretty happy with that so after fees and stuff probably double my money maybe and hopefully they were happy with them i'd be really happy with them to be honest they had a couple of little very minor chips on the enamel on the outside but i did like declare that in the listing and i took plenty of photos of them so it's not as if they were sold without that being stated so fingers crossed they're happy with them and they don't get returned if they get returned i am taking that as fate and they will be going in my cupboard okay next up was also a christmas day sale and again really happy with it this is a levi's men's type 3 sherpa trucker denim jacket say that three times fast um it was really really nice my husband nearly kept this because to be fair it looked damn good on him and i really wanted him to keep it but it went for 80 pounds so well it didn't it was up for 80 pound they used a 10 percent off coupon so it went for 72 pounds so and i don't know how much you would have worn it so we sold it and it cost me four pound 80 so you can't really complain at that can you so merry christmas to somebody who bought themselves something that they didn't get i'm guessing with the la cruze pans and then the levi's jacket somebody bought something that they didn't get as a gift next up is this white stuff cotton linen jumper i've sold this a few times now i think it's like the third or fourth time i've sold it i paid three pound fifty for it there is some white stuff that i will still pick up there is most of it i leave behind but there's some that i'll still pick up this being one of them uh because it always sells and this sold really quickly not for a huge profit but it does it does sell really quick and it sold for £17.50. Did it use a coupon? No, I think it sold for £17.50. Like, I just, that, I think that's what it sold for. Uh, I paid £3.50, sold really quick, blah, blah, blah. Moving on. Um, next up, this pair of mint velvet skinny jeans. 
Now, when I picked these up, I said that mint velvet grey jeans don't sell. These sold, like, within a week of listing them. I mean, I did list them for 14 99 which is quite cheap for a mint velvet pair of jeans, and they were a size 16. I paid £2 for them, though, so for them to go for 14 99 and sell within a week, they were so quick to list, I'm happy with that. This Joe Brown's, like, blouse shirt... Oh, please excuse my dog in the background if you can see her. I don't know if you can with the screenshot up, but she's asleep on the bed. Um, yeah, Joe Brown's Mustard Yellow Fox shirt. I wanted to keep this. I decided not to try it on because I know I probably would have kept it if I did. So I was smart about it and I didn't even bother trying it on. It sold for £15.99. I, I think I took an offer on that, maybe. I think I had it listed for about £17.99. I either sent an offer or accepted an offer. And I paid £3.50 for it. I may have already said that. And it sold really quickly. Uh, this vintage... You can see my dog, like, rubbing around on the bed in the background. This vintage Thomas the Tank Engine wallpaper border. I got a message about this, actually. Somebody moaning, saying it was really expensive. Like, it's disgusting that I'm charging this much money for that much, like, that much of a border. Like, I'm scamming people. And then somebody else bought it, and it just made me feel really smug. Uh, if you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. You don't need to send people rude messages. And also, it had best offer on it, so I wasn't forcing anyone to buy I mean, I'm not forcing anyone to buy it anyway, but it had best offer on it. So, oh, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, it just made me laugh. But I paid a pound, and it sold for... 19.99 but 10% off offer so about 18 pound there we go we worked that we managed to work that one out this hobbs dress i paid seven pounds for this hobbs polka dot dress and it took a while to sell i bought it on vintage in a bundle of about four or five dresses like hobbs dresses from one lady all the same size in a decent size it was a size 16 like I say, it took a while to sell, but it did sell for £30. Um, did it sell with a voucher? Nope, it sold for £30. And she's left me positive feedback, so I'm happy enough with that. Next up is this ingenue blue and green dress. Now, this is the first time I've sold ingenue, so I wasn't sure how to price it. I went for 35 I think. And I got an offer of 32 or I sent out an offer of 32 And I only spent £4 on it. So I was really happy for it to go that quickly. Um, I think I had it in stock for about a week. Maybe two. But it didn't hang around for too long. Like for clothing. Because clothing can hang around for ages. These Nike dry fit golf trousers. I thought they'd be worth a little bit more than what they were. But they weren't. Uh, pay £3. And they went for £14.99 but with a 10% off coupon. So what's that like? You can do this 13.50 ish it'll be on the screen um i mean three pounds into 13.50 isn't bad not when they sold so quickly but i thought they'd be worth a little bit more than what they were because night golf can like it can tend to have a good like a good return but it sold really quickly so i can't really complain this is more joe browns like i said earlier joe brown sells really well for me this is a men's joe browns which i don't sell a lot of men's joe browns actually this is a suede, well, a faux suede waistcoat. It was brand new with tags. It cost me £4.80 and it sold probably within about two weeks, I think this was listed, around two weeks. And it sold £38. I think it was listed for £45. It may have sold, it may have took a bit longer than two weeks, actually. No longer, than, it, it sold in its first cycle anyway. Um, it sold for £38. And from £4.80 into £38, I'm more than happy with that. Oh, this gorgeous, gorgeous clock. Now, I had no idea how to list this clock. I probably used all the wrong keywords. I am not one for listing homeware. I don't really know where to start. So if I have listed this with the wrong keywords and you know a lot more about homeware than me, please let me know in the comments because I am always willing to learn. Um, but this was gorgeous and it sold for £30 in the end. I paid, oh, I've not wrote how much I paid for this. No more than £5 is what I paid for this. But I was tempted to keep it. I just had nowhere really to put it because it was too small for my room. 
but yeah i really liked it and it went for 30 pounds oh these next blue skinny jeans these were high waist enhancers these are what huh. the next waist enhancers there is some next jeans that are really worth it so it is worth doing your research on them these ones are good ones i can't remember exactly what other ones are but definitely have a look at solds on next jeans go into ebay look at solds and do like highest first um but there is some that are decent these sold for 20 pounds and they cost me three pounds and they sold within a few weeks next up is this karen millen skirt i didn't think this would sell this quickly because it was only a size six however it was a very typical karen millen style um a bit similar to like this the shirt dresses like the safari style shirt dresses um but yeah it sold really quickly actually it sold for 18.99 and i paid three pound 25 for it this louisa spagnoli dress it's 100 percent wool i had it listed for i think 30 and somebody offered me 20 pounds so i accepted it because it's been listed for ages i uh, i spent six pounds on it so i was happy for it to go in the end at 20. This modern rarity John Lewis dress. Um, I was really happy when I found it. It did have a mark on the neckline. However, I did, I think it was like foundation. It was either foundation or fake tan. Um, I didn't try and get it out, to be fair. I just, I was lazy. I just photographed it and declared it. I listed it for $29.99 with the mark and it sold for $29.99. I mean, it went on the 3rd of January. I've not had any message or bad feedback. I've not had any feedback yet. Fingers crossed, they're happy with it and it doesn't come back to me. If it does, it does. It is what it is. That's what happens when you're a clothing seller, doesn't it? But yeah, I was happy for that to go. Very quickly, actually. It went really, really quickly. Okay, next up is this set of Pimpernel placemats. This was Christmas placemats. So I was really surprised that these went on last week on the 5th of January. Um, apparently somebody was planning for next christmas already um i expected these to go around christmas time they had a lot of watches and i sent out so many offers around christmas time but nobody bit the bullet i paid two pound for these like two years ago obviously last year they didn't get picked up because nobody could really have that many people around for christmas so no one was really bothered uh, they are really pretty i really liked them and they went for 20 pounds Next up is this pair of Russell and Bromley P448 high top sequin trainers. Now, this is a collaboration that they did with this brand P448 or P44A or P448. Oh, oh, I say it. Um, there were sequin trainers. I have had these upstairs in my drawers for so long, like with all my stock. Not listed, unlisted. I don't know how long, maybe this is embarrassing but maybe two years they've been unlisted for now this is because i have not done a stock take i did a stock take last january and i meant to do a stock take like every quarter since then however last year it was not let's just say it wasn't the best year for me and i was in and out of hospital quite a lot so stock take was just put back and it was not done now i did a stock take coming into the beginning of this year last week ish so i knew exactly where everything was how much was unlisted a lot by the way a lot of unlisted stock for me to go through next week but at least i haven't got to buy any stock for a while um so yeah i found these they've not been listed and they sold pretty much instantly for 49.99 now i may have undersold these quite a lot by quite a lot because i'm not even gonna lie i just listed them i didn't even look at solds or comps i just listed them because i just listed them like russell and bromley's and i probably should have listed them higher but they've been sat upstairs for so long that i don't even care like they've gone for 50 quid i'm happy with that i'm not even going to look at comps now i'm not going to touch myself they've gone i've got 50 pounds i'm happy okay next up is this junior bacconi dress i paid about six or seven pounds for this brand new with its tags this really nice purple and black sequin dress and it went for 89.99 like full price as well because i've not got my coupon on anymore my 10 percent off coupon which i'm actually going to put back on again i think because sales have slowed down a bit so hopefully putting a 10 percent off coupon on my shop again will help to increase sales but yeah either way this sold 
and I've got good feedback that actually came through today because it was list it was delivered yesterday and they gave a good good feedback today so whoever has got it is happy with it and it took a little while to sell but for that much of a profit that much of a turnaround I'm happy to wait a little while for it to sell and I'm really happy with that sale and finally was a jumper that I nearly kept for myself but again I was smart about it and I didn't try it on um this is a mint velvet gray jumper with this like swishy I don't know how to describe that that swishy swish of like green and pink up the front it had alpaca and wool in it it was size medium and I paid three pounds it was so bubbled like oh excuse that I've just smacked the desk that was probably really loud I'm sorry um it was really bubbled like peeled so I spent ages debobbling it but like I said I paid only three pounds for it and it sold for 23 so I was happy enough with that that was a decent enough profit and it sold really quickly so I can't complain at that really this video actually turned out to be really long like nearly half an hour so if you stuck to the end of this video well done like give yourself a pat on the back and yeah that's it that's run i don't know how many however many around 30 i think random sales since like the middle of november beginning of november time november no chloe december around the middle of december until now pretty much <laughs> um the first week of january i hope you all had great sales over christmas i know it tends to slow down a little bit in december for some people especially clothing sellers because a lot of people aren't buying stuff for themselves um all i can say is get things listed if it's not listed it's not selling i need to take my own advice when it comes to that because i've got so much stuff sat here not listed and all i can think about is how much i want to go and sit and play on my switch instead of do some work but yeah, I really should go and do some work. Thank you for watching. If you did get this far, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps my little channel out. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.